Chelsea Davis here, and like many of you, I am so excited for the season finale of CW's hit show, Katie Keene. Today, I have a very special guest. Here's your hint. She's an award-winning actress. She's been in big-name movies and TV shows. She's a singer, and the list goes on and on and on. Here she is, everyone, Lucy Hale, who stars as Katie Keene, joining me right now. The finale's tonight. What can you tell us? Ooh, it's exciting. First of all, I can't believe that our finale's already here. Like time like it's just flown by but like time has moved slowly at the same time I don't know but it's it's we end off on a on a strong note I think it's our best episode yet because we got to film in some unbelievable locations like we end the episode in Grand Central Station in New York um there's a great cliffhanger for Katie's love life um you know she realizes she's still in love with someone and she's got to chase after him um there's a great there's a wonderful fashion show katie like gets revenge on someone in like the most katie way possible we have a guest appearance from mark consuelos who plays hiram lodge on riverdale which is so exciting um there's musical numbers i get to sing um a little bit of everything you know our show kind of is that like mixed bag there's musical there's drama there's comedy um so it's fun i'm very excited we are too. And you mentioned that part of the finale was filmed at Grand Central Station. It obviously looks much different now. What was it like to film in New York when everything was thriving? Right. I know. I can imagine it, it looks quite different now. But um, what was so great about New York and what is so great about New York is that are the people, the people, like the energy that they bring and like everyone's on a mission to go somewhere. And um, so it was really fun filming in the midst of all that, like the hustle and bustle. And we would film in the, right in the middle of Manhattan and just set up our cameras and go. And like half the time people were angry that we were filming or confused that we were filming and walk through the shots. But at Grand Central, it was just amazing because we're, we're filming there like at peak hours. And I'm, you know, everyone in New York wears a pretty muted wardrobe, a lot of black. And I'm running in like a pink boa dress through Grand Central Station at 2 a.m. Um, so it was like one of those pinch me moments because it was like, this, I can't believe this is my job. <laughs> and I have just been offered the opportunity of a lifetime. The cast is amazing. Four iconic Archie Comics characters, also a spinoff of Riverdale, and your role specifically, Katie Keene would be about 75 years old since she was first introduced. And now it's such a fresh reintroduction into pop culture. What is it like to be Katie Keene? It's so surreal. It's so crazy because um, what blows my mind is like, I'll go back and I'll look at these old comics from the 40s because Katie was actually created in the 40s and people could submit their clothes, clothing designs and Katie would wear them in the next comic, which I thought was just so cool. So um, to be a part of history like that is pretty insane. It's very cool. And to be a part of the Archie universe and to see what they've done with Riverdale and Sabrina and now Katie, it's just... Um, yeah, it's like a dream role. I mean, I, I do feel like I'm Katie. I feel like I was born to play her. And, um, um, you know, aside from like physically looking like her, like inherently, I just feel like Katie Keene. And so she's become like a little part of my identity as well. Well, you have so much in common, actor, singer, model. It's like you're looking right in the mirror. Are you a fashionista too in real life? I definitely love clothes. I definitely love fashion. I, I appreciate it. I love learning about new designers and trying new things. Um, Katie's a fashionista. I, like, she takes it to a whole new level. Um, but I definitely, like, there's a passion for it as well for me. You have been in so many phenomenal roles. Clearly, your attire for Pretty Little Liars is much different than Katie Keene. Do you like her style? I do. I've had, I've been lucky in, in the wardrobe department, um, like you said, like from Aria to, to Katie. And um, it's so drastically different from my sense of style. Um, but that makes it fun. It, it like really brings a character to life because like what you wear um, is a direct reflection of how you're feeling that day or what the type of person you are. Um, so it's fun. It's like, I'm the little dress up doll and I just let our costume designers just have fun and like more is more for Katie. Well, there's no such thing as being too extra in my book. I no, mean, be extra. What do you think the takeaway or simple messages from the series that can relate to everybody in everyday life about friendships and also chasing their dreams? The show is about discovering exactly who you want to be and what your purpose in life is and surrounding yourself with people who help you get to that place and being there for them in, in the exact same way. So yeah, it's about friendship and passion and dreams 
and just like being the best version of yourself and most authentic self. You were in an Elle magazine, Ask Me Anything series, and you did such a great job with that. I really liked that you said you're learning to become a cheerleader for yourself. And we also see that in how Katie Kane's voice has evolved throughout the season. But how important do you think that simple message is for people in self-isolation right now? I think for this time, like we're all taking away something different and it'll mean something different for everyone. But what I've been noticing a lot, especially with my friends, is they're like, okay, I'm really getting in tune with um, with where I want to grow in life and where I want to see change and like where I just want to excel more or be better. Um, and like for me, it is, it is like not being so hard on myself. So during this time, I've really tried to, um, just, just sit alone with my thoughts. I mean, I think that like a lot of this time is scary for people because we're like, oh my God, we don't have distractions. And like, what do we do? I'm, I'm alone with how I'm feeling. Um, but but, you know, self-care looks different for everyone. And um, yeah, I don't know if that answers your question, but <laughs> it's got all over the place. No, totally. You came full circle with that one and put a big bow on it. You nailed it. Great advice. Okay, great. <laughs> what have you been up to during quarantine? I know you've been spending some quality time with Elvis. Yes, here's Elvis right here. He's a, uh, I, I would have lost my mind without this dog during this quarantine. He is keeping me busy, keeping me occupied, keeping, I feel like I, I have, um, that I'm not doing this quarantine alone. You know, it's, it's been nice having him. Um, a lot of the, the same stuff that everyone's doing, like tie dyeing and baking banana bread, puzzles. I bought a keyboard. Um, I, I just bought like a new espresso machine. So I'm going to try to be a barista, I guess, but, um, <laughs> just trying to, to just take it day by day. And there are some days I sleep until noon and then there are some days where I like really feel like I'm productive so it's like a nice balance. Are you part of any causes right now that you'd like to mention? This Friday the PLL cast is doing um, a little virtual reunion, uh, the Pretty Little Liars cast, on Friday for um, Feeding America so all the donations and proceeds will go straight to Feeding America um, and so I don't know if the tickets are, I don't know if it's sold out or how it necessarily is working but you can definitely check that out um, we all have the link on our Instagram. We will definitely look into that. Oh, and before we go, I have to say congratulations on being an ambassador for All May. Thanks, girl. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And that is so amazing. And thank you for taking the time to chat with me today. Thank you so much. All right, my friends, check it out. The finale of Katie Keene is on tonight at 7 p.m. on CW61 Arizona. But if you do miss it, no stress. Every episode of Katie Keene will be available to stream on CWTV.com. You can also check it out on the CW app the day after it airs, and you can check it out for free. Have a great day.